My name is Dan Hankowitz. I'm a voice actor based in Springfield, Illinois, and welcome to this guided relaxation session. This session is called The Hands of the Clock. Perhaps in the past, you've had experience with grounding techniques, whether grounding yourself in the breath, grounding your body in your physical surroundings, or as a wise teacher once taught me, grounding yourself to Mother Earth. It gives us comfort to know that some things are eternal and timeless, and that we can step out of ourselves and tether our breaths and our very beings to these larger forces. For some, it can be nature. For others, it can be God or the Creator or the Divine. Or perhaps it can be pleasant memories of the distant past that live with us as if they occurred just yesterday. This period of deep relaxation will focus on something more prosaic something perhaps even a bit mundane, something more readily available to all of us, and something that we're all familiar with, the hands of the clock. We're going to use a bit of imagination in this guided relaxation, perhaps even a slight bit of frivolity. But in doing so, we remind ourselves that we can always tap into that sense of creativity that we all possess as human beings. Specifically, the ability to use our limitless imagination to conjure up thoughts and sensations that can provide us with a bit of escapism from our present circumstances. Whatever those might be, pleasant or unpleasant, it doesn't matter. Before we take our journey into our imagination, let's pause and remind ourselves that while our thoughts may race, and while our perception of the present moment may be fraught with thoughts of anxiety, everything in our lives happens in the time that is measured by the hands of the clock. The clock goes no faster when you're panicked and it goes no slower when you're relaxed. The hands of the clock are constant, timeless, and eternal. And by attuning ourselves to the hands of the clock, we remind ourselves that life can unfold no faster than 60 seconds in one minute, 60 minutes in an hour, now let's begin. Picture yourself at the doorstep of a large estate, a large mansion in the middle of an expanse of rolling hills and trees. This large estate has a rippling creek that leads to a small pond on the rear of the property. From where you're standing, you can just catch a glimpse of the pond. It's winter time. The estate is covered in snow. And all is quiet and peaceful. In the background, you can hear intermittent sounds of ducks quacking and birds chirping. Perhaps trees rustling as a gentle snow begins to fall. The door to the mansion swings open and you're welcomed inside by a friendly butler who takes your coat and shows you to a very special room. The butler takes you to a stately room a library filled with vintage books and many antiques. He bids you farewell and tells you that you won't be disturbed for the entirety of your stay here today.
as you enter the room, your eyes are immediately drawn to a large grandfather clock that sits prominently against the far wall of the library. On both sides of the grandfather clock are large windows that afford a sweeping view of the grounds of the wintry estate. From these windows, you can see the snow falling against the bare winter trees and the rippling creek flowing peacefully out to the pond. In front of the grandfather clock is a high-backed leather chair meant for reading and reflection. Today, however, you're going to sit in the chair and study the hands of the grandfather clock. This will be the basis of our guided relaxation today. So take a seat and feel the comfort of the antique leather chair. Perhaps, if you like, place your feet on the ottoman located in front of the chair. Take a moment to observe the smells of the room. The smell of old books and pine wood. Maybe the very faint, sweet aroma of pipe tobacco from the proprietor of the estate some 200 years ago. Now ingrained in the wood and in the books on the shelves. Let's take a few deep breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale and exhale. I'd like you to bring your attention now to the grandfather clock. In particular, I'd like you to focus on the pendulum at the bottom. Swinging ever so gently from left to right, right to left, back and forth. Let's focus on that pendulum for just a few moments and try to sink our awareness of the breath to the pendulum. However fast or slow you may find yourself breathing at this moment, just try to bring your breath in sync with the pendulum.
Let's take five deep breaths as we observe the pendulum swinging. Let's begin. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. And one more. Breathe in. and breathe out. As we breathe, we notice the stately grandfather clock has omitted one of its pleasant-sounding quarter-hour chimes. Pause for a moment. As that sound reverberates throughout the library, and as the chiming sound stays with you for just a moment, Let's also pause to bask in the silence and serenity of these beautiful surroundings in this stately library. We can attune ourselves to other sounds and sensations. Perhaps we can hear a gentle rustling of the bare branches of the trees just outside the library windows. Perhaps a flock of geese has landed in the pond in the distance, and their loud quacks can be heard as they were descending. We decide for a moment to bring our attention to the wintry scene outside the windows and just ponder what the property may have looked like when it was made into this estate some 200 years ago. Perhaps at that time it was just a vast expanse of rolling hills and trees, nothing more. Who was here at that time? Perhaps the proprietor was seated in this very chair. 200 years ago, at this moment. What weighty matters of business did the proprietor of the estate ponder in this very room, in the very chair in which you're sitting? Who were the workers who built the house? And those who worked on the grounds? How many workers dredged the pond? And how much anger and frustration did they feel as the project went forward? And how much satisfaction did they experience when the project was completed? 
although times may have changed in 200 years, in at least one respect. They lived their lives then, just as you do now, by the hands of the clock. In 1823, there were 60 seconds in a minute, 60 minutes in an hour, just as there are today. Time progressed no faster or slower 200 years ago than it does now. As you look out the window at the wintry expanse of land, take a moment to notice whatever else comes into your awareness. Whether wildlife, movements of the trees, the snow falling, or daydreams or fantasies about the past. Or maybe you can picture yourself on these very grounds 200 years ago. Who were you at that time? What might you have been doing? Think about where you were on the estate. Think about who or what you were seeing. Think about what you might say to the people you encounter. What might everyday life have been like in that time? What might you look ahead to? And what memories might you reflect on some 200 years ago? Let's take some deep breaths as we think about our journey into the past. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out.
Breathe in. Breathe out. One more time. Breathe in. And breathe out. Now, let's bring our awareness back to the present, back to the stately library in which we find ourselves. As we continue to focus on the hands of the clock, let's now focus on the minute hand of the grandfather clock. As we do so, continue breathing slowly, calmly, and evenly. As the pendulum swings, ever so gently, from side to side. You notice the gentle nudge of the minute hand. As one minute has passed, a minute of time has passed as you relax and breathe in these beautiful surroundings. One more minute of time now separates you from the people you met on the estate 200 years ago as you journeyed in your imagination today. The hands of the clock have borne witness to the minute of complete and total relaxation you just experienced. One more time. Let's bring our awareness to the minute hand of the clock. Notice the next time it makes that tiny nudge towards the top of the hour. Let's take a few more deep breaths. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more time. Breathe in. And breathe out. cannot speed up the hands of the clock, nor can we slow them down. Our lives can be hectic, and we can feel a range of emotions. At times, it feels as though things are happening at a breakneck pace. 
But after our relaxation today, we can take comfort in knowing that whenever we feel stressed or sad or anxious or confused, we can always return to this place and ground ourselves in the eternal quality of the hands of the clock. When our thoughts are racing, we can remind ourselves that the hands of the clock are progressing just as they always have. When we experience life's many events, whether joyous or tragic, the hands of the clock mark the time. Or when we just need a few moments to calm down and take a step off the roller coaster of life, we know that the hands of the clock will be here for us, welcoming us back to a sensation of time and timelessness. This place, this beautiful estate, this library in which we're seated, they're always available to you. The chair in which you're sitting, in front of the clock, always beckons you to come and sit, to reflect, to slow down, to relax. and to just be. The people you met today on the estate as you journeyed back in time in your imagination will always be here when you need to meet with them. And perhaps you can meet with new people each time you return. But most importantly, the hands of the clock will bring you back to a sense of calm and peace. If you'd like to stay with this relaxation for a while, the music will continue playing. Thank you for listening today.